And I feel great. I feel, I mean, I mean, I feel better than I was 18 or 21. Um, like I said, I'm not that age anymore. I'm over 40. But I feel great. I train every day. Uh, I've been running these races. Uh, last past, uh, we ran that Causeway race, 6.1 miles. Uh, we ran the, the Charles Day's 5K race also. I'm planning to run the marathon, but have a fighter that's going to fight. I'm planning to stay here, run the half marathon, then go to Laredo. But at first, I was planning to go over there, come back. So, but I, I, I'm staying in shape. I always do. That's my, that's my job, to stay in shape. Like I said, uh, I want to be an instructor. I just don't want to yell and tell you do this, do that. I want to be in shape. I mean, all the way around. My drive is the emotion. I mean, I live, I mean, like I said, teaching jiu-jitsu, and it's more the competition for me. It always been. And like I said, I just want to kind of go in there and uh, do it again, try it out. Uh, um, like I said, I'm in good shape, but like I said, all it is is more is just, it's just that adrenaline, that, uh, that let's do it again, let's try it and do it. I mean, and for me also, other than that, is to promote everything. I mean, promote my school promote other schools to kind of get them. To, you know what? This is the sports that everybody should be doing. I mean, whether you're an instructor, assistant instructor, whatever. I mean, talk is cheap. Everybody, man, get in there and test see how good you are in there in the ring. That's the best thing you can do, and that's kind of how I see it. I mean, like I said, I mind my own business. I stay here, and, but I just want to try it out because there's something in me. Let's, let's do it again, and that's really the main thing. I'm doing it for me, for me. That's me. That's just my character. That's my personality. I mean, I don't get on the website. Like, if you tell me how many times you got invited to the... I don't think I've gotten any. I just don't do that. I don't get into YouTube or anything. That, that's just me. I mean, you look at me and you kind of people say, man, that guy's just... He thinks he's too good. He, he's just that. Once you get to know me and you ask me, you'll know how I am. I open up. I'm very honest because I want to help. Um, should I go out there and send invitations to everybody, to every school? Hey, come over here. Man, I don't have to go into that extreme. I've had people, I mean, we had uh, guys from Paragon come in here. Uh, his name, uh, the black belt out of, uh, what's his name again? Uh, um, I forgot his name. He came out. I mean, he just showed up, walked in, and said, hey, let's train, let's train. And that's what it is. We've had Luis out of West Loco, um, Luis Vega, he's come in. We've had, I've had people from all over New York come in here. And they show up, hey, we want to train, let's train. Should I have to go out there on invitations? There's no invitations. You show up. Am I going to reject you? Hell no. You come in here, <laughs> come, let's train. And I'm, I'm, I'm a guy that I train with everybody. I'm not here. I go, I just went the other day to Houston to go do some training. And I went to Travis Took's also place. I mean, and, I mean, Tony Torres is one of our network schools. He has some great guys. And I don't go there like with an ad. I don't want to go submit people. I mean, I just want to go work out and train, learn from everybody. I open my mind. I try to tell everybody, don't limit yourself. It's like a buffet. There's a decision and choices you're going to make. Try them all. Try everybody. Don't limit yourself. And just me, like I said. And if anybody out there wants to come in, you're more than welcome here. Whether it's for jiu-jitsu, whether you just want to come in here. I know uh, uh, Luis came in the, uh, one time on a Friday. We did some boxing with each other. I did some boxing with him. We did some training together. I welcome everybody. I, I, I do not dislike anybody for nothing. Like I said, everybody is welcome to my place. We've had a history that everybody believes they know it, and it's only between me and him. So if you're watching, Mr. Mike, out there, it's only between me and him that really knows the story. I mean, let me go a little bit ahead and say, look, we all need enemies, and I have it posted there where, I mean, I did an interview also with Rodrigo, but we all need them. Enemies are like failures. I mean, you fail, it's okay. I mean, we need all that. But let me just say one thing. B.J. Penn, he hated Matt Hughes. Matt Hughes ended up helping him out for his training. So I mean, because we fight or because, let's say now, let me go back to the questions. That if there were anybody, people ask me, who would you want to fight? I don't want to fight nobody, really. I mean, if I do, I mean, the only really guy that came up to mind was Mr. Mike Tinejero because we need to kind of settle things because... There's been things where we've tried to get together, but he's always come up with that he needs to go to New York. Or the second time you say, well, I need to go to Brazil. Uh, or I'm exaggerating a little bit on what I'm saying, but he had some other things that he just didn't want to meet three times. I, was, I met him halfway, and I said, look, let's meet here in Harlingen. Let's meet in Macau. Let's meet here through somebody else and through valleytudo.com. Never showed up. I think the best way, and believe it or not, for us to get together and then afterwards become friends is 
let's do this and then sit down and let's work together. Let's make my Hoist Gracie Network here in Brownsville and the Hoist Gracie Network he has in McAllen. Let's work it together and see maybe we can make it a powerhouse. But for me, to kind of settle things would be me and him in the ring would be perfect. Not because... I'm not, like I said, for me, it would be the best thing because, I mean, there's something in me and in my head that I want to get out, and I think by doing that would be a good way to meet. He might think otherwise, man, why that would, man, it's okay. I mean, he doesn't know how big me and him getting together would make the fight and promote him, his business at the same time. Afterwards, also, the results, whether he wins, I wins, or if he knocks me out or whatever. I mean, but that's one thing that, I think a lot of people would like to see, for whatever reason. It's one of those things, we're, we're, we're athletes. Uh, we're entertainers also for the fans. I mean, we're a lot of things that we can do. And that really, to me, like I said, this is my opinion. This is what I believe. And like I said, I have a lot of experience, just not here, all over the place. Is It would help us, me and him, it's more me also, to kind of, you know what? I've let this load that's on my back. That I really don't worry about it because I'm just the type of character I don't. But there is something that I need to let go and release. And it, I mean, you see it everywhere. UFC, the guys are best friends after the fight. They hug. And there's some guys that just don't. There are some guys that just have that attitude here. No, that guy, they get onto a website and they call each other names and so like on. Some guys take it beyond. That's not me. But most of the guys, like you said, it's a big thing. Man. I mean, at first they were words, and then all of a sudden they're friends. Like I said, example again, Matt Hughes and they started working together. He hired him to come with him. We can do the same thing. I mean, that, so like I said, if Mike, if you're out there, give me a call, man. Give me a call. Give uh, Valley2.com come and let's sit together and say, hey, you know what? Let's do it. And I mean, now it's up to him to decide to say, hey, let's do it. I mean, I do want to make an uh, effort to not only in the ring, but then afterwards, let's sit down, man, how it used to be and how it could be and how it could be tomorrow. And I'm just going to wait on his call and I'll be on the phone. I'll have my wife, they call me up and leaves a message or if he wants to go through valley2.com like he has been going, do it and I'll be waiting. I'd like to thank Valley 2.0, uh, Gabriel and his partner. I mean, they're doing a great job. The fans that go in there and visit the website, Valley Tudo is there because of you guys. I mean, Jiu-Jitsu here is because of the people that are here that support all the schools, Brownsville, Harlingen, Weslaco, McAllen, for all over the place. Um, other than that, I mean, if you guys want to come back and visit me here at Garcia's Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, the Hoist Gracie Network here in Brownsville, uh, our number is 542-5060-3670, Boca Chica Boulevard, suite number 6. And just come on over and let's train and let's get together and like a big family.